Hey boys and girls, I really hope you enjoyed April Foolishness. <laughs> Silly grandpa. Um, okay, so if you haven't had a chance to listen to the story and read along, uh, go back to YouTube and watch it, and then come on back and choose one of these read aloud response options. I'm just going to take a minute just to read over them and make sure you understand what it's asking you to do. Okay, so your first option is to read the story aloud to your family. It's a lot of fun and it's a great opportunity for you to read aloud. Um, even though I know you guys know what to do on YouTube, I did list just a few reminders on what to do so you can read the story. Okay, so make sure you mute me. Hmm, wouldn't that be great if you could do that? Uh, pause the pages as needed to fit your reading fluency, okay? And then have a family chat. Everybody just talk about your experiences, your opinions. Some people don't like April Fool's Day. You know, it's not fun unless everybody's laughing, right? All right, so another option is... The next star says, who do you feel was the most clever character? So we did have some cleverness, I feel, in this story. And if you feel that way, too, think about maybe writing a paragraph that explains the who and why. So you would use details from the story to support your choice as to why you chose the character you did and as to why you think they are so clever. And, you know, remember, you can go back and pause the story and read it over to look for the details to use in your writing. All right, so we have another choice here, uh, write a personal narrative. Have you ever fooled or been fooled? Uh, I bet, I bet many of you, I know so many of you, yeah, you're out there thinking about what you're going to do tomorrow. All right, so you can think again. Let's write a paragraph about your experiences on April Fool's Day. Now, maybe some of you haven't had an experience, so that's okay. This may not be the choice for you, but if it is, tell about a time you were fooled or you fooled someone else. Give us the juicy details about what you did. Okay, and below I just put some quick paragraph reminders um, for a basic paragraph on, on what to do. So read those over to make sure your paragraph is the best it can be. Okay, make sure you check over that writing. Make sure you have your caps, your end marks. Okay, now I challenge the super writers out there that really love to write. You can write more than one paragraph. Okay, so you can think about a topic paragraph that will just state your reasons and then you would have a paragraph that talked about each of your reasons and then you would close. Okay, so that's something you can think about if you really love to write and I know you can do it. All right, so I hope you have a great time with April Foolishness and you have a wonderful April Fool's Day. Uh, please note though that if you complete one or more of the above activities, it can replace an option from this week's choice board excuse me, this week's choice board. Alrighty, guys. Hope everyone is well. Miss those smiles. Take care.